What's happening everybody? Welcome to another video. I know it's been a while since I uh, have made one. Um, I thought better late than never. So the video today has come off the, off the back of me thinking that as a normal person you hardly ever get taught these things in school. And um, the educational system, especially in South Africa, is in dire need of educating its people on just basic day-to-day living and how you work and how you can survive and financial calculations for instance and um, one of the financial calculations that is that is required or people take for granted is calculating a mortgage loan or a home loan as we call it in South Africa and how does it work for instance what are the criteria well, before I go there let me go back what are the criteria that are used in the calculation of a home loan how do you calculate your monthly repayments and maybe in a later video I will show you how you can pay your home loan off quicker and what the impact of paying your home loan off quicker is to the amount that you pay over the duration of your loan. Alright, jumping right into it. What is a home loan? Alright, as a human as a human being, as a person, you will look for a property that you are interested in. Um, you rarely are able to afford this yourself unless you you know you've, you've come a long way in your career and you have the funds to buy a house without the loan without a loan from a bank in most cases people go to a bank with the offer to purchase so first you go to your you go to, to your estate agent get an offer to purchase then you go to the bank with that offer to purchase the offer gets accepted and the bank provides you with the loan to buy the house uh, in South Africa, our, our loans attract monthly interest based on a uh, predetermined interest rate. It's, 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 it's a prime rate, for instance, and the prime rate in South Africa is 10.25% currently. Um, sometimes you'll get a, a, a rate that's less than prime. This would be if you have a good credit record, if you have a relationship with a bank, um, or if you work for a bank you'll get a, a, a rate less than prime, and they'll call it prime minus 2, prime minus 1.5. And you, re you remove that 2% from the 10.25% and you're left with your interest rate for the duration of the loan. <coughs> the general uh, term of loan is between 20 and 30 years. However, you can pay it off quicker. If you're diligent with your finances, you could uh, pay off a loan in seven years sometimes. Uh, but we'll get to that at a later stage. All right, so let's jump into it. The criteria used in a home loan, in the calculation of a home loan, are the following. Very simple. You've got the value of your home loan. Let's say it's a million rand, dollars, whatever whatever you would like to do. I'll uh, send you this, um, well, I'll post this model at uh, uh, somewhere and we'll be able to download it or I can email it to you. The duration, let's say it's 20 years, the interest rate 8.5%. All right, you then have your calculated variables. This is where it starts getting interesting. So, the monthly repayment of your home loan is this value over here. All right, the formula we use is called the payment formula in Excel. All right, it's very self explanatory, don't get uh, too hung up on the details. You've got your rate over here. This is your interest rate, all right? So if we referencing our interest rate, we're going to go to C7, which is 8.5%. Remember, this is an annual interest rate, all right? So if you go to your, if you go to your interest rate over here, it's 8.25%. Well, we can change to 8.25. That's fine. 8.25. This is the annual interest rate. Let's just get the decimals there. Back to the payment formula. We've got our rate our NPR, all right? So our NPR is, PR, PER means period, all right? Period is 20 years. However, in the payment formula, it would like that in months. That's why you times in the 20 years by 12 to get the amount of months, all right? You then move on to your present value, all right? So your present value is this million rand over here, okay? But our final amount is going to be zero. 
because we're going to pay this amount off. So our final amount will be the future value of zero. Okay, this is a negative just because we could either put the negative here and make this payment negative, or we could put a negative here because our present value is negative. Okay, our future value will be zero, which will be our uh, which will be the the complete amount paid off. The type is whether you pay your your monthly installment in the beginning of the period or at the end of the period. Typically, we pay ours off at the end of the period, which is zero in Excel. And then you are left with 8,520. Okay, so the total bond repayment over 20 years is going to be 8,520 times 20 years times um, 12 months. Okay. Second, yes, that's correct. So the monthly amount times 20 years times 12 months, you get two million over here. Our let me just fix this calculation over here. All right, our interest portion of the bond is going to be 1.044 million. You can see that's quite a, that's quite a lot. Um, that's because over the period of your bond, it's such a long, it's such a long time, 20 years, that the interest rate actually accumulates quite a bit, and that's why you end up paying off so much interest. But this is what we are trying to decrease. Um, but we'll get to that a bit later. So we've got our total bond period, 20 years. We're paying off 2.4, 2.044 million. Our initial amount was 1 million. So whatever's left over is, is interest. All right. We've got our additional variables. I'm going to cover this a bit later on. This is the uh, change in interest rate, what effect that has in your bond, and the additional bond repayments. This is what we'll put over here to see what the effect will be, wh what will be on our 20 years. How, how many years will come off this 20 years if you increase each monthly payment. All right, but how, um, how is it calculated? All right, so this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but it's not actually that complicated. Um, don't get uh, too hung up <laughs> on these tables. It's it's uh, not as intimidating as it seems. We have an amortization table, and an amortization table is almost like d uh, the the lessening of the amount over the ter over the life of the deal. All right, so we started off with one million. Okay, this is pulling from our criteria tab. Okay, we've got our loan repayment. This is also pulling from our criteria tab. It's looking at C10. If we look at what C10 is, we have our monthly repayment. Okay, so our our loan repayment annually, sorry, this is the annual amortization table, is our 8,600, whatever it was, 8,500 times 12. And then you get our our annual payment each year. This is what we're going to pay. Now remember, our our home loan is split into two portions. We've got our interest portion, and we've got our capital portion. All right. Now remember, when a bank provides you a loan, you are going to be paying interest on the on the uh, capital portion. Therefore, in the beginning of your home loan, you're going to be paying mostly interest, as you can see over here. For year one, 81,735 of your loan repayment is just interest. The rest is capital. And that is <laughs> quite a scary thing, because only after ma many, many years do you start eating into your capital amount. It's quite scary. You can see over here, it's still a million. In your third, in your second year, it's still nearing a million. Still haven't broke through 900,000. And um, that is why it's so important to pay off your home loan quicker. All right, anyway, I've got a bit, uh, I digress there a little bit. So your closing balance is going to be your opening balance less your capital repaid portion. Remember, we want the capital portion here so that we can carry it down and we can keep on calculating the interest on that capital portion. Okay, and you perform this calculation. I mean, we can go through each one. So, uh, you know, this is your your amount times 12, your interest charged. Okay, so this is where it gets a bit interesting. So, the interest charged is coming from a 
another amortization table which has our monthly amortization table. This is probably the most important one. Just checking my recording if it's still working. Okay, so opening balance of a million. Well, first month. So this is our monthly amortization table, so therefore it goes all the way down to 240 months, which is two years, 20 years. Okay, so each month we'll pay 8,520. Of that amount, we're looking at our criteria. We've got 1 million times C7, which is our interest rate, divided by 12 because we want uh, it monthly. Remember the uh, interest rates uh, annual. Then we've got our capital portion, which is literally your loan repayment less your interest charged. Okay. Closing balance would be your opening balance less the capital. All right. All right, sorry. My uh, headphones ran out of juice there. Anyway, it was in the middle of the explanation. We're going to carry on with this calculation all the way down through each month. All right, so we'll have our opening balance. It'll decrease by our capital repaid each month. We'll calculate our interest, recalculate our, close, our, our capital amount, and so on and so on and so on. All right. This is the amortization table because it's amortizing this amount all the way down to our final payment on year two, uh, um, month 240. Okay, so back to our annual amortization table. We've got our interest charge in the beginning. All right, now this calculation over here looks it looks intimidating, but it is essentially the sum of our monthly interest. So you'll see that this formula references this column over here, all right? We are bringing in the interest we pay from this row, which is just means the first row, okay? Zero column, which means we don't adjust the column. And we're going 12 down, so 12 rows down. So if we go down to our table over here, starting here, going down 12, 12 is the first year. <coughs> so this is just a, a way of getting the interest um, from an amortization table for when you adjust the values, they actually pull through all together. And you'll see the amount is 81,735.90, which is 81,735.90. You don't essentially need to worry too much about this calculation. Um, in the uh, model, it'll do all this for you. It's just good to know, good to understand. All right, the second year, we'll have the same formula. Sorry, the same formula is done in capital and in interest. You can see they they are the same. They're just referencing different columns: interest, charge, capital, rebate. Over here, we will have our offset, our sum. We're summing the offset, so sum offset reference this column here, further down, and now we're saying 12 times P5, right? This is your rows, right? So we're saying 12 times 1 is 12, plus 1, which means we're starting at row 13. So now down here, we've already done it up to row 12. So now we're starting at row 13, and we're going to sum down to 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. Starting at 0, go down 12. Width is 1, which means it's just one um, uh, one value. All right, so what we do is we do that all the way down until it gets to year 20, and we have finally paid off our home loan. <coughs> Uh, I know it's complicated, uh, but once you see the calculations and how they work, I think you'll get a better understanding of how, of how this is done. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to explain it to you. I'll also send you the model um, in the next video when we go to the, the value of increasing your monthly repayment 
and how that affects your bond. And you'll see how valuable that can be. All right, thank you guys. Cheers.